Welcome to Sharing Movies Worthy. I'm your host, David 808, and this time around we're looking at the movie Cabrini. It's named after the Catholic nun who had a heart and a voice for those who couldn't speak for themselves. It's based on a true story, and I'll have more to share in a moment. Throughout the movie, Mother Cabrini is told to stay where you belong, but throughout the movie, she doesn't listen to men who are not interested in helping others. Mother Cabrini has this idea that you should maybe start orphanages in China and then spread them across the world. Just a simple task, but she's willing to do it. And it's a struggle throughout the movie to get support for her efforts, but she has the drive and determination. And eventually, the Pope says to her, you know, if you're thinking this ministry is going to reach the world, why not start in New York? And she reluctantly agrees, but goes forward with it. Now, people love how the film is so realistic with its costumes and its settings, and parts are graphic as Mother Cabrina at one point says, the rats have it better than the children at five points. And now, here at Sharing Movies Worthy, we don't like to see surprises in our films. So here's some things to look at when you're watching Mother Cabrini, or it's Cabrini, the film is called. At the very start, we see a young boy pushing a cart around the busy city with his dying mother in the cart. No one wants to help, and eventually the mother does die. Also, 38 minutes into the movie, there's another young boy, and he shoots a six-shooter towards the camera, and we see his eyes light up. We hear Gino, he's a pimp, he gets hit, but he lives. It's just the boy is shaken up quite a bit. Seven minutes later in the film, Gino returns to beat up one of his working girls who's been helping Mother Cabrina. He's not happy with this, but it's not the first time the pimp has mistreated others, and this time the woman pulls out a kitchen knife and plunges it into his belly. That's into the belly of the pimp, and he falls over dead, but there's no blood, and you just see the knife sticking out. Later, there's an underground explosion, and one of the young boys is killed, but you don't see how. You just see explosions and lots of hurt people. And a younger boy, his friend, is looking for him. But the older boy is brought in on a stretcher and he's already passed away. One hour into the movie, the New York mayor says that somebody is a son of a B word. So just be aware, those are some things to look out for. And also, it's kind of startling to see some people, including children, living in the underground or the sewers of New York. It's not safe, not for you. Be careful, or this place will eat you alive. <laughs> Doctors tell me five years. Five would be a miracle. There's a lot of faith in it. It's connected to Mother Cabrini, but her co-workers, um, they're helping orphans, and you don't see a lot of people praying or having conversations with God. At one point, we do hear, you can do all things in Him who strengthens us. We know that to be God. Some people are wearing rosary beads and we see some crosses on the walls, but don't go in looking and expecting lots of prayers to be said. You won't see that. I was expecting more glory to be given to God, but we know that Cabrini gets her strength from God to fight on for another day. And she does this. We also see lots of miracles. When something is needed, something is provided. And I did leave the theater thinking very, very highly of my mother and my wife. I'm very proud of them because they had the same focus and determination as a lot of women who want to help others. So I was really happy about that. I believe I am being threatened by a nun. You have swatted the hornet's nest. Get out, Tango! Go! I want the best hospital for your people and for mine. And my wife really connected with the movie as her Italian grandfather came to America about the same time that the movie set in. It makes you wonder about the conditions that they faced at that time. And, you know, we just, we reflected on how good we have it. Towards the end of the movie, we hear about many, many hospital and orphanages started by Mother Cabrini and her followers. And at the time, the conditions in the film were hard. You'll see some of this showing up in the film. Poverty is ever present and um, it's just a reality of the time. But the film is still worth watching. You'll want to check it out. And you're seeing firsthand what some of America looked like back in the 1920s. You'll walk away thankful, as I said, for what you have. And knowing this is based on a true story, it makes you feel like Cabrini had so much more to gain or lose, including her own life to bad health. 
have to show America we are all people of dignity. This project is overly ambitious, perhaps unrealistic. We are old or we die. This is how I learned to live in America. So next time, keep sharing movies worthy.